Nicola Sturgeon has sparked a furious backlash after the Royal Bank of Scotland RBS, warned it would be forced to move its headquarters from Edinburgh to London in the event of Scottish independence. RBS was founded in Scotland's capital of Edinburgh nearly 300 years ago in 1727. Alison Rose, chief executive of parent company NatWest Group, said the banking giant remains neutral on Scottish independence and is something for the country's people to decide. But she warned the bank's balance sheet would be too big for an independent Scottish economy, Ms Rose told the Herald newspaper, as you know, we are neutral on the issue of Scottish independence, it is something for the Scottish people to decide. We have been very clear, and it is recognised by senior nationalists, that in the event that there was independence in Scotland, our balance sheet would be too big for an independent Scottish economy, and we would move our registered headquarters, to London. However Ms Rose insisted whether or not independence is won, the bank's dedication to Scotland would remain unchanged, where it is one of the country's biggest private sector employers and supporters of businesses and households. She added, it is really just the size of the balance sheet at that point, which we have been very clear in public about and with senior nationalists. The issue of Scottish independence is one for the Scottish people. But the admission from RBS over moving its HQ from Scotland to London in the event of the SNP willing independence has set alarm bells ringing throughout the country. Scottish Conservative finance spokesman Murdo Fraser warned the move starkly confirms the very real consequences for Scottish jobs and business if Nicola Sturgeon ever gets her way. He added, for the historic Royal Bank of Scotland to be forced to leave Scotland in the event of the breakup of Britain would be devastating.